Let me show you a useful mouse scroll wheel technique when working with input boxes in Affinity Photo. What I'm about to show you also applies to designer and publisher, since the UI functionality is common across all the apps. Here, I've opened a RAW file, and I have a variety of slider-based controls on the right. You can drag on the handle to control each setting. Then you can double-click on the handle to reset it to its default position. You can also type a specific value into the input box to the right and use the return or enter key to commit it. A lesser known behavior, however, is the ability to use the mouse wheel when hovering over the input box. Scrolling up will increase the value by 1% and scrolling down will decrease it by 1%. You can also hold shift whilst scrolling to move using increments of 10% instead. This mouse wheel technique extends to all manner of inputs in the apps. For example, here I have a polycurve layer. On the context toolbar, I can access the stroke settings. Then use the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the stroke width when hovering over this input box. Holding shift lets me move in increments of 10. But holding Option on Mac or Control on Windows lets me move in much smaller and more precise increments. I can also use this functionality for adjustment layers. Here I have a Curves adjustment. I can select one of the nodes on the graph, then hover over the x-axis input and use the mouse wheel to change its value. And then I'll move on to this middle node and modify the y-axis. Again, I can use Shift to move in larger increments, and Option or Control to move in smaller increments. Here's a final example. With the Move tool selected, on the Transform panel down here, I'll set the origin to the center point, then scroll the mouse wheel over the rotation input. I can hold Shift to increase in increments of 10 degrees rather than 1. And of course, use Option or Control for smaller decimal point values. And there we go, a quick look at a useful, lesser known feature when working with all the Affinity apps, not just Photo. Thank you for watching.